Welcome guys, this is David. I hope you're doing well. Now, if you're just starting out in the CFA program or the FRM program or the Kaya program, it's tough to kind of fit in studying and working and how do you get all the activities done? How do you how do you make a plan that's gonna work for, for you? Well guys, check out a few ideas here. Well, first thing is, is that let's say that you've already committed to the, to the program that you're interested in. You've already um, aware of the learning phase, the consolidation, the review phase and the mocks. And you've timed that according to your own, your own constraints here, whether you're an early starter or a late starter. You're committed to compete amongst everybody else. Um, and hopefully your family and maybe even your employer might be supporting you along the way, hopefully too. You've got some days off. Very important, guys. First thing I do is get some days off in my schedule. Hopefully, you're going to get some courses in there as well, guys, on demand or live. Um, you've got yourself some study leave. Your employer hopefully going to help you out here too uh, with some study leave. And um, also, guys, how you're going to get your routine of study, whether you're a weekend, an evening person, morning person, um, perhaps some strategic days off as well. Now, when it comes to getting the right resources and materials, you want to save time. You want to minimize the the, the pain of it all, I guess, really here. And um, of course, the focus wise of study notes, whether you go for the paper nowadays or the ebooks, um, are going to be much, much faster, much more focused, easier to pick up, easier to learn from. Now, a great way to, to supercharge your learning quickly, though, are courses. Because um, the instructors, you know, they, um, they can save you a lot of time around the periphery, getting right to the heart of what you need to know. Um, being a lot more exam focused and ability to ask questions as well and get some, some communication going too. Um, and that's on the learning phase and importantly in the exam review phase when you're practicing these questions as well. Now, the key about practice, 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 of course, in both phases, the learning review also carries through to the mocks and the exam simulations where you're practicing as close as you can the real exam formats, um, which we do, guys, uh, for all our exams as well, too. As far as the learning goes itself, um, a key tip here is often that we're overloaded with content, with detail. Um, but what you should be looking for, guys, here is the key concept or idea, um, the big picture, before you get too much into the weeds, if you like. Um, and this is often missed um, when you're starting out your, your journey, um, because once you've got that key idea, then the whole thing can become relatively straightforward and easy. Um, it only appears might appears difficult when perhaps you're not quite sure of the context or the whole reason why we're doing this. And, and again, that's where the instruction, the courses can really save you a lot of time. Um, this aha moment, ah, oh, right, that's the idea. So, so when you do understand something in the CFA program, you know, it doesn't, doesn't actually seem that difficult at all, really. Um, but when, when you haven't quite got there, it can seem very tricky. Now, there isn't time to learn everything. That's a key, a key idea here. Aim to learn 90% or so of a topic and move on. The marginal benefit to add the, the rest is not there's not worth it. No one knows it all anyway. So because the the idea guys here is to keep moving, keep momentum. Now personally, um, there's no need to start your learning at the very start, a first topic, and feel chained to working through in order. It can fall quicker, starting with an area you have some experience, you're interested in as well, getting some quick wins, getting some momentum. And then when you come on to the, perhaps the tougher areas, reach out. I right, guess whether it's on our courses to our instructors, we're here for you to help and turn those weaknesses into strengths. You know, relatively few students get their money's worth in terms of the instructor link. Those that do, they get more than their money's worth. Uh, reach out, guys, either in the instructor link, the, the personal one-to-one -one help, or also via the community forum where lots of other students and instructors are there to help you as well. If you're the kind of person that only learns uh, once a week in a library, uh, in a weekend in a library, where it's very quiet, that's going to limit your opportunity for learning. But if you can learn anywhere at any time, if you've got those resources handy, they're all mobile nowadays, guys, aren't they? And maybe you're a morning person or a later person. 
the importance of, of energy, energy for study, but little and often builds that momentum. Um, and uh, listen, listening or watching, um, goes to the videos, instructors as well. You can practice, of course, wherever you are. And the key, the key, um, yeah, practice, practice, practice across all those learning review and mock phases. Got to complete the study activity, guys. Completed the journey is the way to get to your destination. Now, um, I want to talk about this uh, with you here. Let's check it out. A little bit more, more detail here. So the final stage that I've kind of I've uh, hit on here is the idea of ourselves, the idea of rest, recharge and recreation, the three R's. Um, this is something that many, many candidates and students ignore at their, at their peril. Um, the, the energy for to studying really comes a lot from the three of them, guys. The rest, sleep, of course, very important, fresh air, exercise, but also doing the things that you really enjoy, doing the things that make life worthwhile. So we're not asking you to, to stop living while you're studying. In fact, it's so important, guys, that you, you, you keep your mental health strong and that you're happy in what you're doing. So um, in a way, when you're having that break, when you're doing those hobbies or interests, spending time with your friends or family uh, it is actually really massively helping helping your whole approach. Um, and um, in a way, the harder you study, particularly in the final phases, the more you need that extra rest and recharge, rest and recharge too. Um, and uh, guys, uh, and finally, you know, the exam day strategies, um, great, important to go in the exam with a full energy battery. So, so guys, a quick blast there of some efficient ideas uh, more to come in terms of exam, exam day strategies. But guys, um, best wishes with all your, st all your studies and uh, see you very soon.